All right, everybody knows I'm an extremely successful billionaire, a multi-billionaire. And I'm gonna tell you how I became successful. It was not from having parents who ran a blood mine in South Africa. It was not from exploiting millions upon millions of workers, underpaying them, denying them to right, the right to organize, making them wear diapers instead of making bathroom breaks, paying them as contract workers instead of employees so that they wouldn't get benefits. No, that is not the secret, secret to my success. The secret to my success is reading. And I'm going to tell you the classic books that I read throughout my life that I still refer to that made me who I am today. First we have Dr. Seuss, The Foot Book. Check this out, check this out. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right. You got it? Wet foot, dry foot, high foot, low foot. It was from this book that I learned to tweak the language of diversity. Diversity is whatever the person in power deems it to be. We have all sorts of feet in my business, mostly smelly feet, impoverished feet, but those are diverse feet because they are different from my own. I have rich gold-plated feet. My workers do not, that is difference. The next book, also Dr. Seuss, Hop on Pop. Let me tell you, in this business, you do not get anywhere without standing on somebody's shoulders. Preferably as you stand on their shoulders, you knock them down and make sure they, make sure they can never get up again. There was an episode of The Simpsons where Homer Simpson suddenly became smart and the saddest book he read was Hop on Pop. It's so tragic the way they hopped on Pop. CB, we see a B. CB3. CP3 has zero rings. Next book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. The thing about The Very Hungry Caterpillar is that you have to embody the hunger of the caterpillar. You have to be as hungry as the caterpillar. On Monday, he ate through all of the apples, but he was still hungry. This is the condition of capitalism. We give you junk food. It means no nutrition. You still crave nutrients. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. You have to have that drive. You have to go for, through, for the right foods, but we give you the wrong foods, so you always sleep hungry. Speaking of sleep, Il Sung Na, a book of sleep. I don't know what sleep is. I have not slept in 700 years. I read this book to remind myself of what other people do. Look at these horses' asses, some sleep standing up. Look at this whale, some sleep on the move. I'm sleeping right now, you just don't realize it. I have a microchip that produces exactly the right hormones in my brain, so I never need to sleep. Speaking of sleep, good night, moon. This is what I say to my workers every night. Good night, workers. You're forming, forming a union? Good night, union. You're trying to get labor rights? Good night, labor rights. You're trying to gain a safety net? Good night, safety net. Good night kittens and good night mittens. Para mantener la diversidad en mi mente, a veces leo libres, libros, libros. No sé la significación de libre. No es una palabra en mi vocabulario. Pero a veces leo libros en español para mantener la diversidad. 
como estaba hablando sobre el footbook. Esto es el mismo. Silver coins. Monedas de plata. I only get platinum. I don't know what silver is that's for poor people. The Secret Garden. That's a book I keep to remind myself of the secret stashes I have throughout the world of resources that nobody will be able to use. So when I extinct half of human population, 66% of population because they're impoverished and I've caused a climate catastrophe single-handedly, I have my secret garden to remind myself, I got this Snapdragon that I'm gonna eat. When you run out of food, I'm gonna eat this lily. When you run out of food, I'm gonna eat this iris. This is all the food I have in my secret garden, all the resources that you do not have access to. Next, we've got Corduroy's busy street. I keep these streets busy. Busy means you're productive, means that you're using your life force in the right way so that I can exploit your life force for capital. That is how I made billions. Uh-oh, Corduroy sees smoke. My video is so fire, the firefighters have to come out. Boom. Next, we have Baby Peekaboo. Y'all babies. Peekaboo. It's a puppy. Peekaboo. Who's playing behind the toys? Peekaboo, you're trying to organize a union? I'm gonna hit you with a lawsuit. Now, I like to think of myself as a billionaire of the people. If you think of me as a billionaire of the people, just remember, it's not your people, it's my people. Isn't that right, Sock Monkey? Ah. Sock Monkey enacted the plural proletarian revolt. The billionaires are dead, the workers rise.